In the fixed focus system, we need to control the battery charge. In this program, we will deal with a very simple circuit to charge the battery. This circuit increases battery life. Subscribe this channel to stay up to date with other components of the system. Thanks, Ibrahim Hashemi. Peace be upon you. Welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. I am Ibrahim Hashemi, and this is another episode of Fixed Focus Program. In the previous episodes, I explained the Fixed Focus System, and I find it necessary to explain all its components in different parts. And anyone who is a little technical can build a Fixed Focus System. The first and simplest part of the system is the battery charge. The presence of a battery in a fixed focus system is extremely important. And we also need to have a solar panel. The size of this panel depends on the size of the fixed focus system. And I do not think we need a panel of more than 10 watts. This battery is charged by this panel. And we have to do something to increase the life of this battery. Therefore, the panel should not be connected directly to the battery. To do this, a circuit must be placed between the panel and the battery. The voltage value of this panel is 10 watts against sunlight is 18 to 22 volts. So connecting the panel directly to the battery is a mistake. So the panel should not be directly connected to the battery. And if we do that, the battery life will not reach 2 months. This panel must always be connected to the battery with an interface circuit. This both puts the battery in charge mode and increases battery life. If our battery is a type of 12 volt acid sealed battery, the voltage applied to the battery should be between 13 volts until the 13.75 volts. The circuit I want to introduce to you is very simple and efficient. This circuit like this is connected to the battery on one side and to the panel on the other. With this circuit we can connect the battery to the panel for several years. So let's go to introduce the circuit. You can see the circuit in the figure. This circuit includes an NPN transistor. Zener diode must be selected 14 volts to output 13.7 volts. If you do not have Zener 14 volts, you can get a size of 14 volts by serializing several Zener diodes. In the next figure, you can see the order of the parts. And finally in this figure, you see the printed circuit board map. The circuit is simple but efficient. And this is the arrangement of the bases of the transistor. Well now, I have the printed circuit board ready. Let's go for assembly. The circuit is now ready, but we have to put it in a suitable cover. A very important point in using a fixed focus system is that all equipment used in the system must be resistant to sunlight and rain. We can use the box for this circuit, but it is better to put it in a mold and cover it with fiberglass resin. And in this case, sunlight and rain do not affect it. The resin is now dry. I have already cut the mold and I take the circuit out of it. The resin now protects our circuit. And if it is thrown in the pool, there is no problem with the circuit. Now I specify its input and output with marker. Panel input. Output for battery. When installing the input head facing the panel and output to the battery. Be careful not to connect positive and negative wires wrongly. 
I must say that this circuit is suitable for this panel and this battery. And for more voltage and currents, use the circuit you see at the end of the video. Until another application goodbye.